I'm going to use Al11.aa to cover combustion reactions. The types of combustion reactions we're going to cover in this course are the type between oxygen and an alkane or a cycloalkane. And the products of a combustion reaction, or these kinds of combustion reactions, are always going to be carbon dioxide and water. You could write the water oops, before is carbon dioxide. It doesn't really matter. What's important is we balance the equation properly. And we'll put oxygen. What I just typed in, oxygen as one of the reactants and CO2 and water as the two products, will always be in a combustion reaction. The variable, or the variables I should say, are going to be one, the formula of the alkane or the cycloalkane, which you put here, and then the coefficients in front of the formulas for the balanced equation. So let's first enter the formula for the cycloalkane. It's a cyclopentane, so it's a C5, but it has a methyl group coming off of it, so it's actually C6. Now we have to figure out how many hydrogens are on this, are in this structure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 3 out here, so that's 12. H12. So now we've sort of got halfway done with this. I'll put a 6 in front of the CO2 to balance out the carbons. I'll leave the oxygens for last because I could put pretty much any number I want in front of this oxygen and only affect the oxygens. Now I'll deal with the hydrogens. There are 12 hydrogens on the left and I'll put a 6 in front of the water to give me 12 hydrogens on the right. So let's count the oxygens. So there appears to be 12 and 6, which would be 18 oxygens on the right. And that means I need to put a 9 in front of the O2. Here's another problem. In this case, the combustion of 2,2-dimethylpentane. Well, before we have to deal with that particular formula, let's, let's type in our three staple compounds before we have to deal with the actual formula of that particular pentane compound. And I'm not sure what the coefficients are, so I'm not going to enter the 6 and the 9 as we had in the previous problem. Now, 2,2-dimethylpentane, well, that's a Pentane backbone, so that's five carbons and two methyl groups. That would be seven carbons and 16 hydrogens. I encourage you to draw the Lewis structure of 2,2-dimethylpentane to verify that. And as far as balancing the equation, there's seven CO2s because of the seven carbons here. Um, I'm going to put eight in front of the H2O to give me 16 hydrogens because that's what I have here. And 11 in front of the O2 because I have 22 oxygens on the right.